Hello all, welcome to Thought Provoker channel. Our planet is so spectacular that it has so many wonderful places to visit and explore. However, there are some places that are too dangerous and too protected to make a visit. Let's look at those places across the globe that are entirely forbidden to outside travelers. First one is North Sentinel Island in India. This small heavily forested island in the Bay of Bengal is completely encircled by coral reef ecosystem. This underwater coral reef ecosystem makes it difficult to approach this island even by the boat. However, difficulty in reaching this island is not the main obstacle to visit this place. This island is inhabited by a small group of tribals known as Sentinelese who have rejected the contact with modern world. These tribals are among the world's oldest and last communities to remain untouched by modern civilization. During the time of 2004 tsunami, some of the research helicopters tried to reach this island to assess the damage in the area. But these helicopters were attacked by these tribals who shot arrows and threw stones at the aircraft which flew over the coastal line. The tribals have been living on this island for around 60,000 years. In order to protect them, Indian government prohibited visitors of any kind to visit this place. Second one is Heard Island in Australia. One of the most remote places in the world is Heard Island, which lies between Madagascar and Antarctica but it politically belongs to Australia. This island is home for two active volcanoes and is composed of limestone and debris from the volcanic eruptions. And the most part of the island is thoroughly blanketed with ice. This island inhabits world's most fragile ecosystem that includes seals, birds, different types of penguins. In the year 1996, the Australian government made a management plan to preserve this fragile natural environment and forbidden any visitors entering into this place. Third one is Snake Island. It is a 43 hectare island located in the Brazilian coastal line, approximately 20 miles away from the Sao Paulo shore. This island is home for one of the most dangerous species of snake that is the Golden Lancehead Viper. The snake is known for its poison which literally disintegrates flesh around their bites. There are more than 4000 golden lance head viper snakes on this island. Some researchers estimated that there is one snake here for every square meter of the land. Moreover, there is a huge market for the venom of golden lance head snake. One gram of venom would cost more than a one gram of gold because it could be used for the medicinal purposes. The Brazilian government has prohibited the visitors entering into this island to protect the snakes from black market. Next one is, if you want to discover the history of human race, there is one spectacular place that provides you very good insight, that is Lascaux Cave. This cave is located in the southwestern France and it is home to a series of stunning Paleolithic paintings estimated to be around 20,000 years old. The cave contains nearly 6,000 paintings which depicts mostly the images of large animals, human figures lived at that time. But sadly, the caves have been invaded by fungi and black mold which are detrimental to human health. Plus, the human presence is considered as a destructive to the ancient art. So, the caves have been banned to the public visiting since the year 1963. But don't worry, an exact copy of the cave has been built and opened in the year 1983 which is located around 200 meters away from the original cave. So you can visit this place to experience the same. The caves are even listed under the UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Fifth one is Povelia Island. Povelia is a small island located between Venice and Lido cities in northern Italy. For centuries, the small island has been the prime real estate for dumping thousands of the dead bodies. 
In the 14th century, this island was served as an isolated colony for victims of bubonic plague, and the island has become an asylum for the mentally ill in the 19th century. During this time, it was rumored that a cruel doctor performed experiments on the patients, which eventually killed many of them. It was further rumored that the ghosts of those tortured souls are living there. Now, this island is considered as the most haunted place in the Italy. To erase this rumor, in the year 2014, the Italian government offered the land for the long-term lease, hoping that someone would read out of this land. But no one has come up. Sixth place is Area 51. The list of prohibited places would never be completed without a mention of Area 51. Area 51 is a mysterious top secret US military base hidden in the middle of barren Nevada desert. Though it is officially stated that the facility serves as a site for development and testing of new aircraft and weapons, but the actual purpose of creating this is not known. And no one knows what goes inside the base and comes out. This has led to many conspiracy theories. Some say that it is the facility where the US government stored a crashed alien spacecraft and examines the alien occupants. However, one thing is sure, whatever happens in the Area 51 is not meant to be seen by the public, so the access for the public is strictly forbidden. Seventh place is Tomb of Jin Shi Huang. Jin Shi Huang is the China's first emperor. After his death in the year 210 BC, he was buried beneath a hill in the central China. The burial complex consists of a complicated network of underground chambers that were filled with all the things the emperor would need in the afterlife. The things buried includes the clay reproductions of his families, his armies, servants, horses and stuff and widely known as Terracotta Army. Since its initial discovery in the year 1974, over 2000 statues have been excavated and each of them completely unique. And experts believe that there are around 8000 statues yet to be uncovered. However, the Chinese government might never allow the excavation of emperor's tomb, choosing to respect the ancient burial rites. So the visitors can catch a glimpse of Emperor's clay army during a side tour, but the Emperor's main tomb may remain undiscovered forever. Next one is Satsi Island. Satsi is one of the youngest islands in the world. It was formed in a volcanic eruption that lasted for 4 years, started in the year 1963. It is the southernmost point of Iceland. Scientists have explored the island as a microcosm of natural development, gathering the information on the plant, animal life, and tracking the arrival of the seeds and monitoring the appearance of bacteria and fungi. Today, the island is home to a variety of species like lichen, fungi, birds, and 335 species of invertebrates. In order to minimize the human disruption, the entry to this island is only limited to few scientists. This island is also named under the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites as well. Ninth one is North Brother Island. It is situated in the New York City's East River. This island is one of the most famous forbidden and abounded places in the New York City because of its gloomy history. Originally, it was established as a quarantine hospital to keep the patients away from the normal people who are suffering from diseases like tuberculosis, yellow fever, and smallpox. It was home to the first American identified as a carrier of typhoid fever. And later, it became a rehabilitation center for teenage drug addicts. Now this island serves as a bird sanctuary and people are not allowed to visit it. Tenth one is Chernobyl Exclusion Zone. It is the area located in Pipriyat city in the present Ukraine, which is part of the Soviet Union. It was 30 years ago, on April 26, in the year 1986, a nuclear disaster happened in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. 
and it is considered as the most disastrous nuclear power plant accident in the history both in terms of cost and casualties. After the event, Soviet military officially designated an area of 30 km radius from the plant as an exclusion zone to restrict the entry of the people. Still this place is forbidden to visit because of higher radiation levels in this area. But you could get special permission to visit only for research and studies purpose. Thanks for watching this video. I will come up with another interesting topic next week. Till then, bye bye.